What's going on guys? So today is a very, very sick day that I've been excited for for a while. We are on our way to a vault. Um, I've never been there before. I've heard very good things. Obviously everyone knows Ricky and Living Life Fast. He's got some ridiculous M5 build going on up there. So I'm heading up there today. It's not too far from me. I'm excited to see the cars they've got because also Adam Ivor I spoke to and like I've watched Adam's video there and they've got ridiculous cars. They know what they're doing with BMWs. I'm gonna get some sick stuff done to the M4 today. I've been, I can't wait to do this. I know all I keep saying is the M4 struggles to put power down, especially in like the wet and cold. So the way I'm thinking of fixing that is give it more power and then I'll melt the tires quicker and it'll create grip and heat and grip and I probably need wider wheels soon but that's, that's not the point today we're going to get mapped it's going to be sick I can't wait um, so yeah please enjoy the driving montage before we get there so pretty right, guys so we are now here at valve um just been speaking to them about what's getting done just waiting now to go and get the car sort of up on the ramp get it sorted get the cats off get the decats on get the map on i've opted for cold start off because if i have cold start and then when i eventually do go further with the exhaust and it gets even louder cold start will literally make people hate me and neighbors hate me so i thought you know do them a favor cold start off we don't want that but um, yeah, there is like, it's a pretty cool showroom. There's a wooden wheel. That is the sickest thing I've seen in my life. A carbon fiber chair, like, that's cool as fuck. Um, just other cool stuff, some wheels and that. But this is what I love, the Supra. Oh, the Supra. Look at it. It looks savage. Love that. But um, yeah, M5, everything going on. But yeah, hopefully we're getting in a minute. Show what's going on. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the car to be louder and faster. That's pretty much the two main things you ever want from your car. But also, before we go in there, we've got the B7 Performance Lanyards that now out and in stock. Limited time only, or limited stock, I guess you could say. Um, I'm putting them up for £4 each, which is a very reasonable price, I can't lie. So um, if you want to go grab them, link down below. Make sure you grab them now, or any order on B7 Performance. You get a free one. I'm going to and treat you. All right, now, Back to the video. M4 is now actually up on the ramp. Uh, we're getting the stock cats out, and I'm gonna show you the difference of what the stock cats and the D cats are, and how much more sort of um, flow there's gonna be, and less restriction of when we get the D cats on to make them more power and more sounds. And I did say when they was logging it and everything, like how harsh do you want the bangs to be? And I just said as harsh as possible. So probably gonna regret that, and it's gonna sound like a war zone driving in the M4, but I have no regrets. Uh, so Ed's gonna take that off now. I'm gonna film the process and then we'll show you the difference. So it should be pretty cool. Okay, so the stock cats are now off and it's really weird for me because I've never had 
like a twin turbo car, like more than one turbo. So when you look up underneath the car, there's two turbos there. And obviously it means you have two cats, which is just mind boggling to me at the moment. Like it's just strange for me, but we've got our stock cats out and uh, our new sick downpipes here, the evolved ones. But I'm um, just gonna do a quick explanation, sort of like the restriction and how, how much better these sort of are for the performance of the car. Yeah, cool. So um, obviously the first main difference you see is that there's no cats. Yeah. So they're completely straight through. Perfect. Um, the restriction is obviously the cat. If you look inside the stock one, you can see the cat inside. Yeah. And that's basically just this section here. Obviously cats are all for emissions and stuff like that. So um, that's why they're so, that's why they're so big. That's why it's such a restriction. Because it yeah. reduces the airflow through the, through the pipe. So when you fit the decats, it just opens up the pipe a lot more so the turbos can work a lot better. Yeah. And they just spool up a lot quicker and it flows through a lot Yeah, quicker. so it's a lot better for the performance of the car. Yeah. And we can bet louder and more performance. Much louder, yeah. much more performance. And the drivability of it changes as well. So you notice there's a lot more response from the turbo rather than it being like a restriction. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just, we'll get these fitted and uh, we'll run the stage two file as well yeah that'll be sick and um and yeah you'll see a big difference yeah i literally can't wait to drive this and hear this car it's gonna be so good i'm so excited i've wanted to do this for so many years now i can finally do it so it's gonna be sick just for a reference of how big these actual stock cats are that is my hand that's that's like the biggest cat i've ever seen in my life but ejecto cats more power in metal Another benefit of installing the D cats is because obviously how wide them cats are and like the restriction you get when you actually go to fit them back in, you haven't got like a massive big hand sized thing blocking you. You can just get around them, so it's a lot more easier to get them the new ones on than take the stock ones off. But I just appreciate this like, no one in England is doing Supras like these guys. Like, no one is everyone seems to be too scared. It's only in America you actually see cool stuff being done. But it's nice to see something actually in England getting done. It looks so sick. The wrap is mad. It looks like, I don't know, like a venomous snake to me. I don't know why, but that's just what it screams to me. But there's some awesome cars in there. And yeah, this M2 is sick. That M3, the Viper one, I think everyone sort of knows about that. That's just awesome. But the yeah, M4's getting stuff done. It seems a shame putting the stock exhaust back on, but um, I do not currently have the funds to pay for another exhaust, so. Gonna, gonna keep running the stock exhaust, but it should sound a lot better with decats. I think we've heard them before. A lot of people these just put a decat on, I think like cut the secondary cat out or something, and then just leave them like that. But I don't really know if I want to do that because they don't sound the best, these cars. They're loud, but that, that's about it. But um, it should be cold just with the decats and a mat. Fingers crossed. Here we go, boys. First start with decats. Let's, let's see how she sounds. Yeah, ready? Ooh. You can hear it like growling more in a weird sense. It's got like more of a beefy tone to it. The stop, even starting it, it has a nice tone, but it sounds more like growly. When you put it in sport mode and the valves open, is where we can notice the big difference. We're just gonna check the leaks now, and then I'm gonna get you them clips. So we're now taking out on the road test. It's got the stage two software on there. And like I said, all the stuff mapped out and mapped in of what we wanted. Um, so even initially, just starting in efficient, you can you can hear it a bit, but it's not much different, which is obviously good because it doesn't have the loud, not as bonus, but loud tones to it when you don't want it. Because there's certain times when you do want your cars to be loud and when you don't. So I do have the option of going quiet mode and then in sport and sport plus you've got the bangs and it just sounds like a, it's a completely different car flick of a switch sort of thing so like i said we can go get some road test and uh yeah i'll show you some clips this sounds so sick oh it sounds good so Savage. <laughs> so fucking quick. 
it goes down, you're going to hear that overrun, like this burbling. so good, they haven't even got an exhaust yet. It's only got decals on it. It's definitely needed to make them even more louder. Well, I don't want to make them sound bad, but louder. So guys, I have now made it home. Had TG TGI Fridays and the guys from Ivo UK just came around and gave the M4 a much needed bath because she was looking nasty. She was dirty, but oh, we clean, we glistening. Look at that. Look at how aggressive that bonnet is. I love it. Oh, so yeah, mass shout out to them guys as well. It's been, a, it's been a good day for the M4 today. He's got decats, he's got Matt. And he's had a bath, so he's, he's a happy M4 today. Um, a massive shout out to Evolve for everything they did today. Um, I couldn't fault them at all. It's actually really nice. They couldn't fault them at all. They did an amazing job in my car. They have transformed it. I thought this car was fast, yeah. I thought this was a far, like too fast out the box and scary as, as it was. Now, it's, I can't describe how crazy the driving experience is. It feels like it was that car before, but now times two. Like, it, it feels like it's gone up a boost set in, in a weird way. Well, essentially, it has. It's just, it just drives like nothing I've ever been in before. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a, like, full-on driving video soon. I know I did one not long ago of the, uh, like, the first drive on this, but it definitely needs one now it's been mapped. And maybe some, like camera angles on my head and stuff so you can sort of see how, how quick things come up and like outside shots so be ready and stay tuned for some am amazing drive video come soon because this thing drives amazing check out evolve i'll leave a link down below like i said amazing people now i just want to quickly mention as well it's not quickly the fiesta is about to have a, a hell load of content come up for it so excuse the fiesta spam in the next recent days or weeks because we're about to send this to another level. There's only one other in the UK that's gonna have the body kits going on this. It's gonna be insane. Please stay tuned. Don't get tired of all the Fiesta content, but we've got M4 content and we've got Fiesta ST content. So it's gonna be mad. So that is gonna be it for this video. We've had an insane day going on the M4. Like I said, there's gonna be another um, insane amount of stuff coming up for the Fiesta ST. I can't wait. Can't wait to get in this move of making shit of content again. I've been I've been off of the content grind for a while, just been slacking. Now it's time to pull my socks up, get the content out. I'm still unfortunately having to film off my iPhone, which is very frustrating. Um and it makes it even more annoying when you have to load all your fast edit, but I've got to go do it now. I've got my laptop on my backpack. I'm gonna go edit, get this video ready for you guys to enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like. Like I said about the big discount going on on the BSM Performance lanyards, make sure you check them out, link below as well. As always, please leave a like, comment down below what you think of the M4 and the progress we're making on this already. Like, it's, we've not had it, on, had it under a month on this stage with DCATs. So yeah, pretty insane. Hit that subscribe button to make sure to stay tuned for more content and check out the Patreon and all the, my performance and BSM to our store. And as always, See you next one. Peace.